Hey guys, this is Kevin, and I decided to do one or two videos this morning about uh, Filipino culture, and what I decided to talk about today is the role of the kuya, the ate, or the breadwinner in a Filipino family. Now, uh, kuya means older or eldest brother, and ate means older or eldest sister, and I think you know what breadwinner means, but uh, I want to share a little bit about how these how the eldest brother or sister functions in a Filipino family and how that seems to be a little bit different than the way it works here in the States. Now here in the States obviously birth order does affect things but generally speaking your birth order here in the US does not necessarily mean that you have a specific lifelong role in that family. That's different in the Philippines in that particularly the eldest sibling, the kuya or the ate, functions in some cases almost like a second parent to the younger siblings. Now let me give you an example of, of how this can work. Uh, in another video I mentioned the fact that my wife started working when she was 19 years old and when she started working because of some things that were, uh, were going on in her family she took on the role of being the provider for her for her three younger siblings. Now she was not their caretaker, but each month she would send money back to her grandmother to make sure that her three siblings had everything they needed in terms of food, in terms of school supplies, and that kind of thing. And I know that uh, what my wife did is not terribly unusual in Filipino families. Sometimes the eldest sibling the first one that gets through college and gets a job takes on the role of making sure that the younger siblings are are taken care of. And again, that's not very unusual. Uh, and in the case of my wife, I'll go back to this example because obviously her example is one that I'm closest to. The my wife's role in the lives of her younger siblings, even today, her younger siblings are all uh, young adults now. Even now, her role in their lives is what I would describe as maternal. She's the one who sometimes gives them advice. Uh, they come to her sometimes when they, when they need something. Or let's say a younger sibling wants to get some kind of training or needs a little bit of help getting started in a new job. They will, they will come to my wife. And I'm pretty sure they would have done that even if she hadn't married an American. That is just part of the role of a kuya or an ate in the Philippines. Now, uh, earlier I mentioned the word breadwinner. Another thing I've noticed is that sometimes it's not the eldest sibling who takes on some of these roles. It's just the first one who becomes financially successful. So you may have a sibling in the family, a brother or sister, who is not the eldest, but he or she is the first one to really get a good stable job, he or she may take on some of these roles uh, that I'm talking about. Now, why does this matter? Well, it may not. I, I, I will tell you that if you move to the Philippines or if you visit there, you will encounter these dynamics. Uh, but I'm also bringing this up because I know that some people visit my YouTube channel because they're interested in marrying a Filipina. And part of what you need to know is that if you happen to marry a young lady who is the eldest sibling or she was or is the breadwinner for her family, that's a role that may continue even after you marry. And you just need to understand that that's something that she will continue to take very seriously. And another thing that I'll add here is the breadwinner in particular, if someone is the primary breadwinner of the family, they can kind of take on a role that's, I guess you could say they can kind of become one of the main bosses of the family. And that's not too difficult to imagine if you think about it. If she is the one, if she's the one that's been the breadwinner, then she may have a lot of say and influence into decisions that are made in the family even if she's not living there anymore. If the young lady you marry is a breadwinner 
Uh, she may call the family every once in a while and direct them into how they're supposed to spend the money that uh, you have sent to them or something of that nature. Uh, so anyway, that's just uh, something that I have observed in Filipino families in that the particularly the eldest sibling really uh, takes on some responsibilities that younger siblings may not. So uh, I hope this video helps. You guys are, are free to uh, leave a question or a comment below and I'll try to do another video soon.